Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was uh, very fun and uh, I have uh, learned a lot uh, all this week, so yeah. I'm learning a lot, I'm not going to ask you for everything, but is there one or two things in particular that, that stand out that you're going to take back to the Uh First thing I, I would say is how to protect the park and how to win a park before the D. And uh, second is uh, like health packs and stuff like that. How do you approach this year, you know, now that you've uh, you know, had a year uh, under your belt knowing you're part of the Winnipeg Jets organization? Does it change anything on how you want to uh, play the game or uh, uh, will you just kind of go along business as usual? Uh, no, I'm just going to play my game and uh, now I'm going to focus on my on my season home in Sweden with lunch shopping. Uh, so I'm going to first focus on that, on that season and uh, improve my game. and. Uh, He's already a camp for for Winnipeg. Yeah, I don't know if you ever want to be a scout. But I'm going to ask you to give us a, a self scouting assessment assessment rather of Fabian yeah. Wagner. Uh, I would say I'm a center who is two way center. Uh, I'm a strong skater, uh, a pretty good playmaker also, but uh, I have a good shot also. How are you at escape rooms, Fabian? I understand you guys did some off ice stuff. Did, <laughs> yeah, did, did yeah. you escape? <laughs> yeah, we did escape, but uh, I think I was not so much help for the team. Uh, <laughs> I was pretty lost, so yeah. Pretty lost. Yeah. Who was on your? Did they break them into smaller groups, or yeah, who was on your did. team? Uh, I had Brad, Chess. Uh, yeah, we was like six, six or eight. Okay. Yeah. But I had a pretty good team, uh, so yeah. Yeah, how important that off ice stuff, the bonding and the team building, that's obviously a big part of what they do here. Uh, guys get to know each other away from the rink. How much did that help, I guess? Uh, it helped very much. Uh, team building in uh, off ice is like, really good and uh, it helped a lot to, to like, learn each other and stuff like that. So, yeah. You mentioned you're going to go back to Lynch Open for one more year. Or what What is the plan, Fabian, as far as uh, uh, when you'll eventually come to North America for a, on a full time basis? Uh, no, first I just going to focus on my, on my season and Lynch Open and, and stuff like that. And uh, then I'm going to take one year after one year. Uh, I'm just going to focus on my first year in Lynch Open, then I take other stuff. What kind of a team do you have uh, to go back to this year? What kind of in the yeah. How, how, how is it looking for the team? Are you going to have a strong team, or will it be a, you know, have to fight to get in the playoffs? So. Um, you know, we have missed the playoff for six years, I think. So, of course, we're going to fight for the playoff. But I think we had a we had a really strong team actually, um, and uh, we had a good coaches and stuff like that. So I think we're going to make to the playoff, and uh, and I hope so too because. It's good for the fans if we can make the playoff easier. Growing up in Sweden, was there anybody in particular who you idolized that you wanted to pattern your game after? Um, I have a, like I like Peter Forsberg uh, for the Landis group, but uh, like yeah, it's many Swedes that are good at home, so yeah. Awesome.